Dr. Sully here, and this is the triple option offensive lineman physical fitness test. If you want to prove if your offensive lineman is too fat to play in this offense, this is going to be the test. So pretty much if they're going to play offensive line in the triple option offense, they must be able to do this because for the last five decades, Army, Navy, Air Force, and the Paul Johnson family of coaches have asked their backside guard to do this. Here we go. Let's begin. Now, I'm drawing this up against zone dive because it's the most popular play in the offense right now. Okay, so when the center moves off the zero technique and moves laterally, the guard has to be able to spread his belly button through the hip of the center. So if there's a zero technique there, and the zero technique runs up the field, it's the job of a guard with a three to three and a half foot split to line up as deep as he can off the ball, open and run, and get through the center before the zero technique runs through the gap. That's the test. Here's the physical fitness test. From a three plus foot split, your guard has to run through the center before he does that and beats him across his face. If your backside guard cannot do that, he's too fat to play offensive line. I don't care what he weighs. He's too fat to play offensive line. Now, you could say, wow, that's hard. I don't know, guys. They've been doing it for five decades, and they've won. Air Force won 10 games last year. Army won nine games last year. He's got to be able to sprint through the center. This is why you can't play fat people. But here's the thing. I don't care if he's 5'9", 175 pounds. If he can't do that, can't play offensive line in your offense, he's too fat. So, and you have to do that. There's no other way. It's like running the down play. If you ran the down, and I'm going to give this example, and I'm going to try to draw this quick so we can save some time here. I'll do it out of heavy like the academies do it. So let's say you're running the down against a 2 eye. Your center's got to scoop the two eye because the guard has to trap him and he's down blocking and he's got a wall off the mic and he can't get all the way down on him so he has to end up at the second level. So he's got to scoop. Well, let's say, for example, you've got a linebacker right here and as soon as the center does that, he just goes, Phew. the guard's got to be able to open, run, and get hip to hip with the center to cut that off. Guess what? Nobody in the stands is going to care. Let me, let me try to do this without a double negative. If you don't make that block, nobody in the stands are going to say, well, that was too hard for Johnny. Guys, you don't have a choice. This is the thing you need to understand about this offense. This is an offense designed if you're getting whooped north and south. If you're getting whooped north and south, this is the offense to run. If you're getting beat east and west, you're freaking screwed. You're screwed. I get questions all the time. Well, what if they're slanting? What do we do? Well, you better have better feet than they do or else you're going to lose. The whole reason you're running this offense is because you're playing a bunch of ankle biter mighty mites that can move. You just can't physically go one-on-one -on -one with people. But you better be able to freaking move or you don't have a triple option offense. So, once again, Physical fitness test for each offensive lineman. Can the guard sprint through the center before somebody blows through the gap? Now, make sure it's a realistic test. Put a zero technique there. Have the zero run up the field. Make sure he's lined up as deep as he can by a lot. I don't have it drawn the scale. And he goes that way. I don't care if you over-exaggerate it. You're better off ma making it like a pull, but make sure it's flat at 90 degrees than anything else. Just like I drew up here with the down. The down has been run for 70 years, maybe longer. So if you had a 2i and he's going to kick him and this guy goes up the field, the center's got to scoop him and the guard, let's say they blitzed right here and he's trying to go and backdoor this, this guy's got to be able to scoop and cut off that pathway. You don't have a choice. This is reality. This is geometric priority. So I got news for you. You better have kids that can run. 
Triple option offensive lineman physical fitness test. You want to prove if your kid's too fat to play in the offense, test them on this and test them on that. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if they fail, they can't play for you. And if you can't find five that can do it, quit. But I'm going to tell you right now, I find five people all the time at my triple option football academy camps. I find them all the time. You'll find kids that can do this. I'm going to find five today. Got my first camp of the year today. I'll make sure there's five. Don't you worry. We always do. Because you find people that aren't fat, that can run, and you'll be good to go. So that's it for this topic. You want to become a client, and you want to do what Army and Air Force are doing, which is they won 19 games last year, and they did this. I watched them do it. Every single play of every single game, I watched them do it. And I will make sure you do that too. God bless. Call me.